completely. What is up, Battlefielders? Aaron Sampson here with Ryan Schubert. And today we are going to be looking at China Rising expansion for Battlefield 4. This is Goilin Peaks. Goilin. Goilin. I don't know. According to whatever crazy pronunciation page we went to, it said Goilin. I might just call it Gilligan's Peaks because I find that to be a lot easier. Dum, dum, da, da, da. Kind of reminds me of Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam inspired maps. Maybe Hill 137 crossed with what did we say vantage, vantage point. point yeah right here it looks just like vantage point yeah um and i'm excited about that you know because i have to say that um you know hearing about battlefield 4 and you know when the you know when it rolled out like not having a jungle map was really disappointing to me i mean i thought that you know uh, even with battlefield 3 you know we really got i think uh sort of spoiled in Bad Company 2. With the Vietnam expansion? Uh, not just the Vietnam expansion, but even some maps. of the regular maps uh, had good jungle and foliage and stuff, and then they just sort of went away from that with Battlefield 3, and it's so nice to see this, um, you know, a little bit of a return to that. Yeah, I agree. I'm really enjoying uh, jungle and foliage back. That, that window is made of, like, bulletproof glass. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> So why not just stick your head out the window yeah, instead? that's hey. a good idea. <laughs> uh, you'll see me here rocking the higher level unlock UTS-15 shotgun. Overall, mm -hmm. shotguns got significant improvement in Battlefield 4. Yeah, it's much more powerful. Uh, watch here. So basically these guys were like, Oh, everybody chase the bomb. Ignore the guy with the giant shotgun. And I literally... Took out everyone. I literally canned their entire team, except for that guy who had the good sense to run. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would recommend grinding up the shotgun tree. And actually when China... Yep, take them all. Take them all down. You're all mine. <laughs> oh, man. All your heads are mine. It's true. You know, if you're in a sort of a close quarters environment, man, the shotguns this time around are just so deadly. And especially in obliteration mode, people sort of have their eye on the bomb and kind of ignore what's going on around it a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But a good way to grind up on the the UTS shotgun would be to play the previous map that we just previewed, uh, Silk Road on Domination. Get your Get shotgun. a little Domination action in. Yeah. I really like this map, though. Uh, so there's a central mountain. It's very, very tall. And in that sort of like uh, Marquez monolith kind of way with the like giant building that you can go inside of. Yeah. So, I mean, you basically have to either go through the mountain or around it. Um, which means if you go up the middle, there's a lot of really nasty choke points where entire teams will stack up and murderize each other. Um, or you can grab, you know, the ATVs or the, the motorbikes or the helicopter and have these really fun, you know, run and gun chases around the outside of the map. But it's, it's not so easy to drive around the edges of the map. I mean, there's a lot of rocks and trees and things like that. So. Right. Yeah. This is one of them worth it moments where I just landed the helicopter and, and just needed to suppress the enemy team enough to get that bomb off. And, and, then, the, and then the enemy team had the same idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I noticed that you still got a kill after the fact, though, in, yeah. the, in the feed here. Boom. <laughs> so here's the, I'm trying to get around the outside of the map here um, on an ATV. As you can see, it's actually pretty difficult to do. No. Are we going to end up with, like, snipers on top of those mountains? Or are they going to be... I'm going to show you the clip in a second. I actually tried to get over the top of the mountain in a helicopter and got... Oh, my oh, God. This is, knife. like, what, the fourth counter knife you've done in these videos oh, so man. far? Oh, man. They're just not learning. This is why they get YouTube people. <laughs> at a separate event? Yeah, at a separate event. It's because they don't front knife people. UTS. UTS. <laughs> but yeah, this is just looking really cool, if you ask me. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff is back, like you said, from uh, Vietnam. Ah, run over the bomb carrier. That's what it's all about. Oh, so going back to what I was saying. Um, oh, so bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I actually tried to fly over the top of the mountain on the map and got wedged in between the mountain and the skybox. But you can you can get up there. It's just pretty blocked off by foliage. Yep, here's a good example of how to use your XM25 to see through smoke. You know, overall Battlefield 4 has a like a big boost in smoke effects. Mm -hmm. Although I gotta say, at least like looking at uh, like 360, the smoke grenades themselves feel less dense. 
Are you having a problem hiding your movements with smoke grenades? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. At least they give you three of them. That's true. It's enough to sort of create a wall of smoke if you yeah. get three of them out there. Now, one of the biggest strategies in obliteration mode, as you know, is to get somebody in the helicopter, because the helicopter is usually the fastest route around the map. The helicopter is pretty vital to obliteration. This map is actually really good for helicopters because there's huge mountains, three different huge mountains around the map. It's very fast to if somebody's locking you up to, to get around one of those and get out of sight. Right. So I think on this map, rolling with at least one defensive engineer with a stinger is probably going to be really important. Like, if you don't leave somebody back at one of your bases capable of taking out helicopters... That's gonna, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. But this map is also pretty nasty to amateur helicopter pilots because you got to do some pretty strict maneuvering to get in and out of the trees. Now, I do wonder if this map isn't going to open up quite a bit more on Conquest because if you, if you can see there on the left, there's some really large rice paddies. Mm -hmm. And those were in, what was it, um, Vantage Point again? Vantage Point had some of the rice patties, and there was a bit in uh, Fubai Valley as well. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's what you're talking about. Oh, crashed into both the mountain and the ceiling. Yep, stuck right in that skybox. And the, the other dude who's in the helicopter with me was like, so... I love what happens next, Are we though. just going to sit here? This is this is my favorite part. <laughs> so it, 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 like, kicked me off the mountain when I got to a certain point. So I don't see recon players camping out at that one point. X XMing it. Yeah. That's what the XM is for, man. Like a bouse. Yeah. And then I ran for my life, because that is what <laughs> you have to do when you have the bomb. Like a bouse. I, I love that <laughs> feeling you get when you're the guy with the bomb. Yeah. You know, it's elation, like, oh, I got the bomb. And then you're like, oh, crap, you know, I, I got, got the, the bomb. bomb. <laughs> um, so this match ended with everybody clustered around the enemy team ran the bomb to our last bomb site and then both teams just kept spawning into that one little area and just massacred the crap out of each other but yeah this this map is fantastic at channeling people channeling teams into each other but also letting somebody sort of flank the other team unexpectedly so that was a look at Gillen Peaks Gwilin Gillian Gilligan's Peaks Goylene Goylene Goylene. Let's look at Goylene Peaks. The next one we're going to look at is Altai Range. Shit, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Altai. Altai Range. Let's find out. The next one we're going to look at is Altai Range.